If you type the wrong URL, you'll see an error that says the page you're looking for isn't there, a classic 404 error. However, if the page has been permanently deleted, you'll instead come across the HTTP error code 410. A 410 error signals that search engines should de-index the link. Keep in mind though, 410 codes are only practical if they're intentional. While you can create 410 redirects for deleted pages, they can also pop up on their own due to issues. If that's what's happening with you, let's go over three ways you can fix this error. Number one, disable your site's plugins. The best way to rule out plugins is to disable them all in one fell swoop. However, before this, you'll want to create a backup of your website just to be safe. Usually, 410 errors don't prevent you from accessing the WordPress admin. This means you can disable plugins manually from the plugins tab. Select your active plugins, then select deactivate from the bulk actions drop down menu. At this point, go ahead and check if the error is still happening. If it's gone, you can reactivate them one by one, working your way down the list to see which one is the culprit. Once found, you'll want to either contact the developer or find an alternative plugin. Number two, repair your website's .htaccess file. If you've ever tweaked your .htaccess file, it could trigger a 410 error on your website. Connect to your site via FTP and open your .htaccess file. Before you make any changes, here's what the file should look like by default. If you see any rules you don't recognize that start with redirect 10, followed by a URL, remove it and retest. However, if your HD access file doesn't have any custom configurations, you can close it and move on. Number three, reinstall your WordPress core files. In some cases, your WordPress core files can become corrupted due to poor configuration or unadvised changes. Repairing these files is simple. WordPress includes a feature that enables you to reinstall the latest version of the CMS. Doing so shouldn't affect your site's functionality or content in any way, but even then, you should have a recent backup just to be smart. Once you're ready to roll, go to the dashboard, updates, and look for the message that says you have the latest version of WordPress with the reinstall now button underneath. If you don't see this message, you'll usually have an update to install. Go ahead and either update or reinstall WordPress then check if the 410 error persists. At this point, if you still can't fix the HTTP error 410, it's time to contact your host for a fix. It could be a deeper server side issue than you're able to handle, and most hosts will be happy to help you get your site up and running. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.